in the province of the mind, what one believes to be true, either is true or becomes true within certain limits. To be found experientially and experimentally. These limits are beliefs to be transcended. One man who has done the most to affect public perceptions of dolphin intelligence has been Dr. John Lilly. Trained as a neurophysiologist, Lilly earned an early reputation for mapping out the pleasure and pain centers in the brain. Lilly has claimed that the large brain dolphins and whales have an intelligence far more advanced than our own. So I spent about a year floating around the tank uh, on and off for an hour a day. In recent years, Lily has been a highly controversial figure, experimenting with isolation tanks and hallucinogenic drugs. Some people claim his work has more to do with metaphysics than with science. In the problem of the mind, what one believes to be true either is true or becomes true within certain limits. Have you gone as far as you can go? One day I took 300 micrograms of LSD and got in the isolation tank and suddenly I was taken out of my body and traveled through the universe for very great distances. These limits are believed to be transcended. You ever taken ketamine? I never used ketamine, I don't know. No, no. I've used it a lot. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, it's still using. Oh, yes. I am. I used some last night. Huh? Mm -hmm. ah? 